Good day, everybody. How's everybody doing? I've been spoiled over playing Metro Exodus. Oh, yesterday, um, I think I, I exited wrong this game. And uh, I don't know, I'm back at uh, Tiaga. I hope I don't have to do that boss fight again. I don't think I saved properly out of it, but we'll see what happens. We'll see where I am. Oh god, I'm here again. So I, I didn't quite save it, so it looks like I might have to do this boss fight again. Which is very unfortunate. Stuck. I wonder if it, it's going to go to the cutscene. I might have to start this over again. This is ridiculous. I wonder what would happen. He's mad. Looks like I might have to kill myself here. Oh, it's it's they're pretty good, but like I'm actually like off the map by mistake. I'm just sort of fooling around here. I don't think I'm gonna be able to. I think I have to die again. And I did this boss fight yesterday too, so here we go. Die. It didn't save my my progress yesterday, unfortunately, Raider. I know it blows. But uh, I, I I should be able to to to, to get this guy. <laughs> I don't know. I did it pretty good yesterday, but I I dropped uh, into like a a bad bad situation there. I wish it saved the boss fight, but it didn't. Gosh darn it. did it again. Why do I keep doing this? I keep on dying. Stupid. This game is uh, really hard. It really is. For me. And I'm also a little annoyed that I have to do this again. Like, you would think that it would save after a boss fight. Right? No, you can't see the cliff. No, it's it's a very dark game. But that's okay. 
I'm okay with that. It's me being a spaz, actually. I know the map better than that. And uh, doing it twice in a row in the same spot, well... Like, it's a pretty big area, right? Just that I'm being a spaz. The boss fight's not too bad. Cool, right? But I did this yesterday, but... I guess it is a little dark for you guys, eh? Maybe I'll, uh, I'll raise the... Uh, I'll raise the brightness a little bit for the sake of the screen. Because I could see him in the ground, I don't think he does can. What an enormous beast! Yeah, you're well, telling me. Well, Artyom, help me here. Let's restore this line's tension. We're done. I'll raise it up a bit, uh, Raider, thanks. Olga! I told you people. They just needed passage. Are you sure you're not coming? I'm sorry, Alyosha. I can't just stop and live like this. No matter how much I like you. In this case, I bid you farewell, my fair lady. Ah, to hell with it. Olga, I'll be back. I'll be waiting. Artyom, let's go. Olga! Remember what I told you! Get them out of the valley! There's death behind the dam! There's my train. I was so excited to see my train yesterday. Nor the drugs we found along the way are of any help now. The illness has progressed too oh. far. And is gonna die, I think. Come. That's sad. <laughs> now this is where I left off yesterday. And I, I got a bunch of achievements and everything for clearing the Tiaga level. It was pretty tough. We all remained silent while the Aurora was running along the poison sea held at bay by the dam. We believed we'd be back. Now, having seen the sword of Damocles hanging over the valley, we knew it was not meant to be. Alyosha is especially worried. His old guy's there. Perhaps he will be able to warn her via radio and save the people there. What happens next? I have no idea. I am ready for anything. Anything but one thing. Anna, please, sad, Anna. hold on. Without you, I have nothing to live for. Nothing to dream about. 
Doubly so, since if not for that dream of mine, you'd be all right now. All right, sad. Let's see where we go from here. There's the save there for it. Oh, there's my sick Anna. Uh, let's see if I could raise up the the, the the gamma, I guess it would be. There, I'll give you a little bit. Oh, I'll raise it up a little bit higher. It might be like too much for me, but it might be okay for you guys. I think, is that better for you guys? Artyom, is that better, Raider? You know when I found this photo of the Pacific Ocean? I just knew for some reason that we were going to go there in the end. That's not looking too All good. these rivers, mountains, deserts, they just won't do. It's ocean or bust. I believed we could make it. I did. I know I'll get there. And if I need some help, you'll be yeah, there I know, for I me. Know. But I raised you'll Gamma a lot. Me again, won't you? <coughs> Artyom, please. Stop torturing yourself. It hurts to even look at you. You and Dad, too. It's not your dream, and not his belief in the occupying forces. It's just fate. A stupid piece of cloth in the wind. Rotten concrete. An idiotic ammo dump. <coughs> Arthur, you should go. I'll give her a shot. Let her sleep a bit. So I guess fooling around's out of the question. <laughs> That's so bad, eh? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry though for that one. <laughs> Poor Anna. And oh look, the you got the executive bathroom here. Come with me, Bratucha. There are things to discuss. Hey! Leave your work for the moment! Come to the bridge. He doesn't let you get to the guns. Hate you, I hate you. No. Why are you crying then? I'm afraid. Afraid? What how? <coughs> this I have this scarf. What if it's like Aunt Anna's? Look at the dialogue that they <laughs> have. Don't worry, Nastya. Yeah, I you know. It's got to be somewhere, right? Yes, after all. It's just a cold. We'll fix it in no time. Like they have these NPCs with these this rich te Aunt this Anna? rich text and, and talk and we'll it's all, fix all her it just kind of gives con as uh, context. It's really medicine, nice. She'll start getting better. For real? You have my word. So don't you worry. Don't worry, Artyom. Everything will be all okay. Right. I like your gun. I only have a crossbow right now. We did examine the dam and reservoir. You have to leave the valley as soon as possible. At least before the rainy season starts. The dam is barely holding. And if it gives, the valley will be washed away, and everything that remains will be deadly. Leave tomorrow, or even better, yesterday. Talk to the other girls. Get them to raise the issue of the So we're going to the valley, and there's a dam as well. You can always smoke outside. Walk in here? Yeah, I can. Cool. I knew he was. I was just trying to see if there's anything that we can do here. You know, how 
yourself out the train, you know. Very cool. Another cutscene in here, I guess. Seems to be bad. We haven't had any other variety in a long time. So no one. Take a seat, Bratucha. This conversation is not gonna be simple, I think. Until today, we thought that this shot of Novosibirsk was a simple error. What we are wrong. It? The legend says. Irradiated zones are highlighted in shades of green, while purple highlights indicate errors. Today, though, I found some small print. The thing is, radiation levels way outside of normal operational range of the scanner are also marked as errors. <sighs> Simply put, the radiation there may well be completely off the scale. We're about 500 Great. clicks from most years, and radiation wow. outside is almost as high as the most level. <laughs> <laughs> The shots are 20 years old. The radiation can't be quite as high now, but still, Novosibirsk is most probably. So, what do we do now? I'll tell you what we do. Artyom and I will go. This is not All the right. other way. We go, no, no, sir. Not our Please. way first. She is my daughter, his wife. My paranoia about the occupation forces drove her into that damned bunker. And Artyom with his dream. He dragged us out of Moscow. So we too are to blame. Still, we are the order. We are one crew and we should all act accordingly. We should all go. Discussion is closed. This is not an order mission. It is a personal errand. Mine and Artyom's. We don't need any help. Second, we don't know the exact location of the medicine. It might be in the city center, or in one of the Academ Gorodok labs. Zahara's life might well end up in your hands, too. Third and last, wherever we might go, winter is coming. And getting the Aurora stuck in snow is what? That's something we can't allow. Do you remember what Yermak said? Uh, Remind them, please. There's a huge railway technology museum at the city outskirts. We'll almost certainly find a snowplow for the Aurora there. So, gentlemen, your missions are to search the Academ Gorodok labs and prepare Aurora for the winter. Crew, get ready for the mission. Also, we are starting constant radiation level monitoring outside. Effective immediately. Sam, you're first. Yes, sir. I think that lethal radiation levels there are actually good news for us. Uh, you mean there was nobody left to rob the drugstores and hospitals? <laughs> exactly. Unlike the towns we've been to. <sighs> Colonel, sir. An update on the suits. Yes. What's the situation? I managed to assemble only two complete ones. You see, they're for Artyom and me. It's fate, that's what it is. <sighs> Will they help? Well, they'll protect you from dust. But even the direct radiation there is so high, it could... Yes, uh, can you add more protection? <sighs> sure, your Mac does have some lead sheets in store. But the suits are rather bulky and heavy as it is. We aren't exactly attending a dance party there. <laughs> How much time will it give us? A couple of hours. Not enough, I think. Better than nothing. Don't worry. We'll make do. Always have. I'm nervous about this because uh, it sounds difficult. Shielding to the car's cabin. Try to stay inside for as long as you can out there. Thanks. Get on it then. Yes, Colonel, sir. Huge risk. 
So many good people died from radiation exposure in Hansa's railway crews. But Moscow had nothing on the radiation levels they're going to face. Nah, these people don't really care about risks. I'm gonna see if I can go back to the, uh... Before we start this mission, I want to see if I can go back to see if I can do anything on that workbench. The medicine is called Renogen F, and she was completely amazed by it. Mind you, she was a real doctor. What is this team. about? Katya, believe me, your mother would be proud of you. Thank you, Alyosha. I hmm. hoped I could help, but Anna's case seems to be extremely unfortunate. Cool. The gas on the Volga lost most of its punch already, but it was enough to start the destructive process. Of course, the hopes I had for the valley and its air were naive, but even the valley in the end... Yes, air, water, in the forest. It's all there, but I'm afraid not for long. Cool. A pity. The people there are actually quite nice. We'd find some common ground. I like it. It's pretty is wild. Them in such danger? It is. I guess spent so much time. Could hold out for years more. A third of the valley is already polluted with radiation. All the fallout was accumulating at the bottom of the reservoir for years and years. And now it's seeping through. Little girl sleeping now. Ah, Artyom. You know you're just being unfair. Colonel and you take the exciting mission. Whatever, and we guy. all get the boring one. There's my suit, I guess. There's two. Yes, Artyom. I never told this story before, but I'd like you to listen. You see, I had this Tokarev pistol. That fail-proof thing that had failed me once. It was a great gun. Powerful. Punch through any body armor you could still move in. But it only had eight bullets. I think I'm just going to make a couple of these. Not enough. Maybe came just one. Some bandits that were tormenting a family. And I make just make a... So, one of these I bombs. See, got all of them. Same for one. The fucker hit me hard. By the time the other people arrived, I was half oh, I don't have to make arrows here. Yeah, I got my guns dangerous. back. That's good. Anyhow, here's why I'm telling you this now. There are more of us now than I had bullets then. So, I'm sure we can take whatever the world throws at us and win. Okay, what's this? But if it's pneumatic, do I have to pump it? I get less damage though. A little bit less damage. And the rate of fire increases, but it looks so cool though. I don't have to I don't think I have to worry about the rate of fire. I think I'll just I'll keep the damage. I'm not sure. I'll give it a try. Cause I could always change it out. Uh I like that dot. Oh. Look at that. I can carry more. I lose stability though, a little bit. Come on, let's give it a try. Oh, I get my pelican back. I like the uh, the other one better actually. I like the crossbow. It was pretty wild. What happened here? Oh, I lost all the stuff on it. We'll try the pneumatic stuff. I don't think I like the laser thing. Okay, that's good. All right. 
the shotgun is pretty impressive. I'm definitely going to put that on. Mm, I got the laser one on that. That's cool. I have all these other weapons. But the shotgun was really nice. I know that it was. We got a lot of weapons, actually. So the shotgun, that's good. Alright. Now, this little puppy here. Oh, is it clean? Yeah, it's all clean. If I should get this, it provides decent accuracy while not being too cumbersome. Designed to increase accuracy and damage, this barrel and muzzle attachment combo is not the best choice for the more uh, dynamic dynamic fights. But I have a shotgun for that, so we'll be okay. Um, the night vision and this one. I think I'm going to try this one here as well. Put that on there. Put that puppy on there. Yeah. All right. Not bad. Hmm. Well. I guess I have enough shotgun shells, I suppose. Okay, I think I'm done. It probably won't raider. The suit will probably not, but I can't I can't grab it from here, so they might they might just equip it. Right? I'm telling you, I'm not looking forward to the missions. <laughs> I think Anne is in one of these. Yeah. I don't know what she says. She's just sleeping. Okay. I want to check out the outside too. There's some more people there. If we all went together. Whatever guy, whatever. Do you love her? I love this world. I love this. Uh, the detail on this area is just great. Let's go. Let's go take on this next mission. Uh oh, what's going to happen? <laughs> Anna isn't giving up. She believes in me believes in us and for a good reason thousands of kilometers of track behind us we are finally approaching Novosibirsk a dead city concealing her hope for life the medicine that could save her 
somewhere in its cold, irradiated heart. A year ago, we left the poisoned ruins of Moscow. And now we are about to enter another city stiff in the murderous embrace of winter and radiation. Will we ever find somewhere to live on the surface? Maybe. But for now, we're returning back into the bowels of Metro. Back to Savannah. Hmm. Cool. I wonder what's gonna what's in store for me in this one. All I can think of is a lot of pain, frustration. <laughs> no, and entertainment. <laughs> Yeah, no guff, Raider. No guff. I was hoping the game ended the last time. No. <laughs> the last boss fight. But, uh, like, yesterday I had, like, I had a boss fight that I didn't know what was going to happen. So I went, I had to go back, like, a, like a chapter or whatever. Uh, accumulate enough, just scraped up enough resources to to fight that monster and in the end i had to fight him twice because of the uh because of the load malfunction which was my fault it wasn't the game all right here we go Yeah, it looks a lot brighter on the, on the stream now. I know it's white, but... What do you know? We're here. Novosibirsk. I sure hope this time it's not another bunch of nuts. The bridges are undamaged, and the radiation's climbing like crazy. I think there'll be no nutcases this time. are undamaged too. Sam, what's with the radiation? Eight times higher than in Moscow and still climbing, Colonel. I think we better not stay outside for too long here. Are you ready, Artyom? I suppose. Follow me. situation here looks more complex than we thought. Still, time is short, so we're taking the direct approach. Let's refresh the plan. Yermak! We'll take the Aurora south to the Sibirskaya cargo station. Uh, I'm Martin. Stefan! Christ, Sam, idiot, and I will handle the Institute building in Akadem Gorodok. We'll pay a visit to the railroad museum on the way. There might be something for the Aurora there. I'm staying to guard the Aurora with Tokarev. Good. Artyom and I are checking the Institute's main building. Radiation is way too high here, so we'll try to get there through the metro. Well, let's get to it. So Good we gotta luck, go through the metro Spartans. to get to the building. Good, Good luck. luck. watch over her for us until Artyom and I come back. Please? Oh, now I'm wondering if I have enough filters. 
I only have like five minutes or something. She's sleeping. Are you leaving? Yes. I hope we'll make it in time. Anna is strong. She'll be here for you. She definitely will. Just make sure you come back. Thank you, Katya. Come in, Artyom. The attack ended. I did my best. So you don't have to worry. Her pulse is strong. She's just exhausted. She'll probably sleep till tomorrow now. Like, what a nice touch, you know? Beautiful. Yeah, she needs, like, a Tylenol. We're gonna go get her, try to see if we can get her medicine now. I think that's the, the mission. It's probably gonna take me six weeks to try to find it in this game. Come back soon. Seeing you would be the best medicine. Good luck. You're here, Colonel, sir. Thank you. Artyom, this is no Moscow where you could loiter outside for months. Who knows what monsters live here? So think well what to pack. I'll be waiting at the car. Gear up, Artyom. I cleaned your guns and put all the ammo and resources we had left in here. You're going to need it. Oh, so they gave me some, so they gave me a uh, full, you know, maybe I'll just, I think that should be enough, but I feel like I should make, oh, that's okay. Yeah, maybe I'll make a couple of these, whatever I can. The guy, those should be enough. Like, I really don't need a lot of those. Um, these are all good. Love the bow. Okay. Woo! Let's go. Thanks, guys, for your your help. Appreciate that. I think I'm just going to take off the uh, the laser thingy. It's kind of annoying. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Let me see how this one feels. It's pretty good too. So, so I'm just going to assume close quarters for now. So I'm going to keep this this uh, shotgun here. Where did my dude go? There he is. You ready? I suppose. We are. So, Artyom, here's your chance. Our last chance to save Anna. We must make it count. Settle up. Keep overwatch. I'll be busy watching the road. 
it's not squeaky clean, I'm sure. Good luck, gentlemen. We are her last hope now. All those carriages stuck here. I failed evacuation, I presume. Let's try to get into the square behind the station. Metro entrance should be there. All right, walking here would be easier, but we should minimize our exposure. So here goes nothing. I was wondering why we were driving. Yeah, no, I know. All hell's gonna break loose, Raider. More than likely. But I, I run out of resources so quickly in this game. It's it's really tough. You have to watch how every bullet that you shoot, everything that you craft. If you craft the kind of the wrong thing, yeah, I kind of have to go back. That's a lot of cars. The army had the traffic blocked. The town got hit smack in the middle of evacuation. Definitely not entering the metro through here. Too much snow. Take the wheel, Artyom. I'll handle the navigation. We'd better use the map here. No time for driving in circles. All right. The map puts the metro entrance quite close to our position. Oh, where's my map? Well, where do I go? Do I just start driving? Let's move. There's no time to waste. I can't load my map. I'll just follow. See if there's an obvious, this obvious path kind of thing. This road should get us to the city center. They take it, but keep looking around. There might be a way into the metro on the way. Oh, so much snow. And the storm is getting worse by the minute. Weird feeling. The buildings are intact, but the city is dead. Don't you think Moscow was better, eh? Nowhere else to go. Mind the car, Artyom! Find the corner, on the left! Don't rush it! We're done for if we get stuck! Go straight here!
Finally here. Let's find a way to the city center. Hmm. That's what I call a cave-in. Got any ideas on how we get into that tunnel? Let's try that carriage. It's still in one piece, after all. Help me pry this open! Let's do this! Doesn't look nice in there, does it? <laughs> for at least 20 years. Let's move on and keep your eyes peeled. These guys can't hurt us, but the survivors might. We need to get to the Lenin Square station. The Institute is a stone throw from there. The metro isn't very deep here, and with the radiation so high, the locals probably didn't last long. It's a bit safer down here, though we've already taken at least triple the north up there. The tunnels. This is just like back home. We're in our element here. What do you know? The air is breathable. That's good news. Take me! 
Are you okay? I think so. Let's see how you like some of this. to the mutants from back home and this metro is crawling with them i guess we can handle these well, i'm gonna run out of bullets so maybe i'll what do these this. things even eat here not people that's for sure just gonna explore a little bit Deadly here. That's not good. some chemicals and stuff. Tape player. I'm just going to see if I can make... Oh, there's some more stuff here. I can't craft any other type of weapons. I don't know, I can't craft, uh, I can craft these things. Okay, well, I'm gonna keep, I'll keep my stuff then in that case. I guess it looks a little brighter, right, for you guys? Such collectors. Let's try to get through down there. We could squeeze through here. Seems rather shallow.
something in the water. We'd better get out. We could get out here. <laughs> kind of stuck. He's kind of st sticking me here. the locals. Hmm. Reminds one of that execution pit in Moscow, doesn't it? Eight thousand kilometers later, and we're at an execution pit again. I wonder if they were called spies too. These people died a year ago at most. There might still be survivors. Stay at the ready. Come up and watch out. What could have happened here? They were all executed. Doesn't seem like a war. That was a trap. I don't like these supports. The whole thing could collapse at any moment. Let's see. Seems solid enough. Let's go. War after all. Just devastated. Everything's devastated. Hmm. Oh, they've been defending with these armored trolleys, and when those were taken out, they blew the tunnel up. The reinforcements never arrived. Let's go to this station. We might find something out there. Ah, our old pal, the Dushka. A full-blown siege. The defenders were protecting the station entrance. There were quite a few survivors here. Until they killed each other off. Looks like that lie in Moscow did work after all. What is better, I wonder? Life built on a lie, or death born of truth. Oh, 
what? I feel uh, strange. this these little kids weird this is sad Too bad so far. <clears throat> but I ran out of shotgun shells. And there's no That's way. Enough. Let's go. There's nowhere to replenish them either, really. As far as I understand, this is Sibirskaya, a line transfer station. Amazing graphics in this game. Beautiful, really. Sure didn't joke around here. Damn! Ah, oh, cut off again. <sighs> We're not opening that gate for sure. We'll have to go back to these service tunnels. Follow me. Yeah, it's a good thing he knows about this stuff. communication with Novo Sibirsk, but assumed they had jammers too. After the bombs fell, the defense... <sighs> so much dust. Yeah, abandoned a long time ago.
Look around here, Artyom. You might find something useful. You. Needed that. Thank you. Don't forget it, we're short on time, though. The Institute is still far. I just hope the others are doing better. Oh, I don't want to do that. Set up generator. Oh, I knew I thought I forgot something. I knew I could had to keep looking. We should get into the ventilation tunnel, and from there, to the next track tunnel. Mm. That piece of iron! This is cool. We won't 
It's weird how I can't. Did I collect whatever I had to collect in here? I don't know. Nothing to fear. We just want to talk. Maybe he's in here somewhere. I'm trying hey, to try find him. We know you're here. There's nothing to fear. We just want to talk. Come out. We won't hurt you. Martium. Stop! Where do you think you're going? Finally! Why did you run? Come on, speak up, soldier! Identify yourself! Private Krill Klebnikov! Oscar, rapid response unit! And you won't get another word from me, so you can kill me now! Klebnikov? All right, friend. We mean no harm to anyone. Just take us to your commanding officer. I don't know who you mean by that, but if they kill children, we're definitely against them. This is cool, so this you game. Can take us to your commander. Mm, why do you want to see him? We're on an important mission, details of which may only be disclosed to ranking officers. You just have to take us to them. Besides, you don't really have much choice. <sighs> All right. No monkey business, mind you. This way! The station's nearby! Which station is it? Which? It's Prospect, of course! Just one section to the Institute. We're close, Artyom. Wait! All clear. Come on. Wait. You said you were close. But why do you need the institute? <laughs> you are persistent. We're on a mission, but that's all I can tell. Mission to the institute? But there's no more green stuff left there. Green stuff? <laughs> What's that? You don't know? Wait. Which station are you from? Our team is from the exhibition, and I'm from police. Huh? Where is that? It's in Moscow, soldier. Wait. Damn! Analysis. Give me a boost here! Come on. Please!
I really, I'm really crap at fighting. I still have bullets. Uh, I thought you were with rioters. We had a war here, you see. We noticed that. you got here. Where is everyone? Dead's on a mission, and there's nobody else. Not since the war anyways. Oh, so the city was tough enough to live through the nuclear war, but not the civil one. How Let me just take his weapon. the mission he went to that setcom center we were going to leave the city in the spring he went to go get the impact map said we're sure to find a clear place if we get one got it right we need to use your radio artyom let's contact the aurora i'm going to get that map and we should tell them do you read me aurora miller here Change of plans. We found the survivors. They say the SATCOM center is still there. I'm going there for the map. Artyom takes the institute. Copy that, Colonel. How is Anna doing? She's asleep. Try to make haste, sir. Katya says Anna's going to have another attack soon, and she's way too weak to... Come again, Aurora! Over! Do you copy, Aurora? Over! Stop 
Tech again. Artyom, cool. if his father had really found a clean place, this is a chance for Anna, for the boys, for all of us. A chance to have a real life. I'll go get that map. Meet me here once you recover the medicine. Then Wait, we'll go get the car. you can't go outside with the anti-red. We still have three left. Dad was saving them for our escape from the city. Great. Thank you. Artyom, get geared up in the meantime. Look, there's even a workbench here. By the way, you can take my railgun if you want. Might be of more use where you're going. Don't forget the armor. Tell me when you're ready. I think that's okay. Won't have time to do that later. Or mine some shotgun shells. Mm, no good either. Okay. Tell me, Kirill. How did you and your father end up the only survivors? Mm. The green stuff. No bullets. The anti-rad ran out. You can't survive without it. The fire stations rioted. The Need committee sent those. the soldiers. Should have made some more of these, but I think I, I can't. Right? And then, See, the, the resources are just so, like... <laughs> Yeah. Not enough people to guard the entrances, so the mutants broke through everywhere. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I, I'm okay. Don't worry. Can clean that up. No, I want to clean them. Here it is. I didn't really. I wasn't able to craft too much. That ventilation is our exit to the station. Yes, that one! Then you go through the station, then take the right tunnel. This thing is simple. Just take a shot if you feel sick. Thank you. So, this is what had been keeping them all alive. Are you ready? Good luck. Remember why we are in this. The life of my daughter. Your wife is in your hands now. Now go. Great.
Ugh. Oh, the big one right here. That was a quickie. <laughs> Maybe don't uh, kill them? I don't know. I'll try not to kill Well, I'll kill them, but I think I'll try to be a little bit more, you know, responsive to that. Let's see where I am now. Maybe I'll heal? Do I have to heal? No, I don't have to heal. I'm good. I might die actually falling down here. We'll see.
Ooh. Take those. They just keep coming. I think I'm just gonna go down there. Oh, I died. Crap balls. Ooh. This game taking a lot of my uh, attention. I don't think fighting is the answer there. I think I have to run. Let's give this another try. As I fell down, let's see if we can figure it out. I might look at my uh, my thingy too. I don't think the arrows are going to do it for me too. I'm going to try the shotgun. Sure where to go, so we'll figure it out. You know, I got a silencer at the beginning of the game, I never got another one. I can't find one. Okay.
Oh. Jeez. Well, I found the I found the switch, so that's good. Yeah. But I have to fight off the those demons a little bit first. That was insane. Oh my gosh. Oh. Ooh. Okay, and this one there I'm done because I, I panicked and I shot way too much.
is gross. Hey Scotty, thanks for the the follow, uh, for the follow, for the raid. How was uh, how was twenty two, how was twenty forty two treating you today? <laughs> uh, I just don't know which way to go here. What am I supposed to do here? Let's say to go forward. This might be just a little extra thing. Oh, thanks for the alert, Scott. I have to check this area out. This was just a bit of a nightmare. Oh god. Better craft a heal. Maybe two. What's this? OK. 
Okay, I'll take the upgrade. And yeah, I'll take the upgrade. Nice. out of here and I'm going slow. Oh my god, what a nightmare that was. I don't even know what the purpose of that was. I probably missed something in there. I don't know. Maybe that's where I had to go. I'm not sure. Maybe that's where the medicine was. I'll have to go back maybe. Hey Olivia, how you doing? How have you been? You watching Scotty play in uh, Battlefield 2040? <laughs> oh. hate those things. Keep going, keep going. Come on, go, go. things holy tension in this game I don't know where to go here. Okay. I'm almost dead, so I don't know if I'm going to survive this. It's disgusting.
Oops. Oh, wait a minute. See if I can craft another heal. Oh, it's on the dead. I'm on the dead here. Broke my stuff again. <coughs> Let's see if I can run to see where I can have to, have to go. been up there. <sighs> Holy series of deaths. Let's try this again. Hopefully I don't have to go back. It did save when my, my mask was broken. Might have. Might have to start over the mission. Ooh, this game is crazy, balls. Let's see where it ends up. Ends me up. Oh, this part. That's okay. That was just, it's just too much. Thank you. 
wonder if I could make another med kit. No, I'm off by five. No, that's okay. I didn't want to do that. I must have drowned. Oh, I'm uh, going over. I'm gonna try this one more time and then I'll, I'll put it into the <clears throat> end of the game for today. Okay, and now what else I, I need to, uh, oh yeah. table means there's some type of fight coming. Oh. 
Okay, so craft heals on the fly, so I don't really. I think I'm okay for there. Weapons are pretty good, actually. Um, maybe Molotov. The bullets, not too bad. Oh, something happened here. Graphical glitch here. I might have to start from where I was. That was weird. Weird graphical glitch, eh? I hope it's not permanent. I think me jumping is uh, turn lights back on. I think it was me jumping there with uh, with all that 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 did it that broke my my stuff and all that. Alright, so what we got here, I'll take a heal, just one, and uh, Molotov on me, oh it wouldn't let me, I thought I was able to make one before, anyway, I guess I'll make some more bullets. Okay, I got one heal. feeling I shouldn't be doing that. Wasting bullets. The boy just got me. Let's 
something was spitting at me still. Slippery. to repair my helmet. Let's try this again. I should have repaired my helmet when I had the bench. Silly me. Or was it broken in the first place? I didn't realize I had to put it back on. So we'll get there. We'll get there. Okay, so let's hit it. snack. <laughs> well, I'll go to the side here and get the bench going. Fix my helmet. These resources. No, I don't want to. Okay, it's repaired. I repaired that. That's good. That's good. Okay. Let me see if I can kind of craft a heal. I, oh, I can craft one heal. Molotov, maybe. A grenade. Yeah, one grenade. That's good. Um, okay. I'll fix my mask. I think for those little guys, I'm going to use arrow, my arrows. All right. Uh, let's craft, let's take that heal. Let's see if we can get past this.
I didn't collect things from these things. Didn't know that. Get my arrows back and a little bit of chemical. I didn't want to fall in the water. I don't think I'm going to make it because I'm kind of... kind of dead here. I think I'll craft the heal and I might be able to make it. But it kicks you off the boat. You know what I mean? So it's hard to... I didn't know it was going to kick me off the boat, basically. This is an amazing mission, amazing mission. Where does it leave me? Okay, did I drop the boat yet? No. heal if I can yeah I can again I did it sorry guys My man, you can make it, RTM. <laughs> oh, almost, almost, guys. 
All right, guys, you know, I'm going way over, and I have a couple of things to show you, so I'm going to uh, quit to the main menu, guys, and uh, we'll start this ag again next week for sure. That was amazing. Almost got it there. Almost got it. I think I have to uh, play out the, the robot part a little bit better, you know, but uh, I'll get there. I'll get there. But um, uh, today I got a couple of really cool things for you. We were, we were talking last night. And uh, we were saying, hey, you know, with the advent of, uh, no, no, I, I was initially telling uh, my kid, my uh, my son and his friend that, well, if electric cars ever become racing cars, they'll be like way faster than, you know, um, a internal combustion vehicle, like an internal combustion uh, race car. And there, and I said to the, I said to him, well, someday they're gonna have, like. Uh, you know, imagine they'll have like a, a Formula One race or something uh, with electric, but I, I don't understand how they would kind of piece it together, right? They pieced it together. So what they do is they they uh, they have these uh, these Formula One cars, and they just they're like rockets, like they they're so fast, and they they sound like something from sci-fi. And uh, I guess to get past the uh, the battery issue is though they'll have two cars. And in the pit stop, instead of coming in and changing the tires and adding gas, what they do is they have their driver drive from one car to the next, right? And I don't know if they charge the other car while the other one goes zips around, but it doesn't have very much charge. Again, you know, battery technology has never been developed for like, what, 30 years since the lithium battery? When did the lithium battery come out? Like uh, for consumers, like early 90s, something like that. And we haven't had any any advancement since then, right? So anyway, uh, well, we had you know, minor things, but nothing nothing really up until now, right? But still this whole technology of battery exists and we still use them, like they work, but they don't really carry that much energy, right? Especially for racing. But you gotta check this out. I got this from um, Formula E Highlights, Rome e pricks <laughs> So it's some type of Grand Prix, but it's, uh, it's, in, it's with an electric car. Check this out. Like, it is so cool, right? And the announcer is just having a hernia. But uh, these are electric Formula One cars. I hope, I, I, I've never seen them before, but you gotta check these out. All five lights are on, and we go green in Rome, and it's a lot of wheels for for Rosenquist. Berg fancies a look up the inside of the Listen road. Listen to that. One. It's a good start from too. Lotterer, nosing to the inside line. Mitch Evans looks to the outside. And they're, they're and going fast. Out. They're going fast. traffic jam around the Colombo hairpin. But it's Rosenquist electric, who leads. Guys, no electric. Position changes apart from oh, the turvy. Oh, and into the back. Alex Lynn crashes again into the back of Jean-Éric Berg. Jean-Éric Berg. Is it overtaking the move on the camera? Right, and while we were watching it for the first time, we were like, well, how did they do the pit stop? Like, that's going to be the thing is, um, it sounds like a bad 80s sci-fi movie sound effect. I guess um, we have a couple cities that have subbed uh, It's really, really pleased for the team. Uh, yeah, that was pretty cool. That was pretty wild. That blew my head off. Oh, okay, that's... That's pretty good, Raven. Well, I'd, I'd t totally take advantage of that if you could drive. You know, but if you don't really need to drive, I would uh, I, I would say stay away. What's the point? What's the point? If you don't have to burn your own petrol, don't, you know. Okay, yeah. Well, if you have that endeavor to get the car, do it. You know, that's for sure. You know, I'm, I was kind of just had the impression if you live in the city, you don't really have to drive it every day. I guess it would be so you could travel um, and, and get around on your own without relying on the public transit, right? How is your public transit and all that? Sort of cool. I have another electric marvel, which I didn't even know existed. And um, there is a there is a famous kind of you know um, I guess race, and it's called Pikes Peak. And the challenge of that is, um, I guess the the big challenge was to do it under five minutes, and it's just a one way kind of run. And uh, it goes up in altitude rather steeply, and petrol engines 
when the air gets thinner, it, they, it'll have a harder time to produce the energy it needs um, to propel the car as fast as possible. So Volkswagen, wanting to beat this record, and they ended up beating it by 16 seconds, which is gigantic, really, if you think of the fact that, you know, speed, velocity, distance traveled during that time. 16 seconds is, it's unbelievable. And they took the atmospheric factors completely out of the race, meaning that they made an electric supercar, which I have to show you this thing. And uh, I'm not going to show you the race because the race is like a little bit boring because actually the, 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 the chopper had a hard time keeping track of the car going up the going up Pikes Peak. It was crazy. But Volkswagen made like a Formula One car that is just unbelievable. And guess what? It only lasts for like 12 minutes because <laughs> they just tuned it up and they built it just for Pikes Peak, which is like a five minute run. So... There, this is the this is sort of like the Volkswagen propaganda video for their for their uh, for this car, and if you guys want, I could show you the race too. But um, I didn't know that this thing existed until yesterday, and it blew my mind. So I hopefully it blows your mind as well. Let me shut this music off for now. It's kind of cool. So enjoy. Like this thing is unbelievable, unbelievable. Holy crap balls, right? Uh, and these guys, I, I want to show you where I got this from. I got that from, this is Top Gear. That's where I got that from on YouTube. If you guys want to check that out, no problem, right? It's cool, right? Let me take that off. I first saw the Porsche 919 in 24. I think, I think Porsche made one that was, well, they're all making one. I think once the car manufacturers kind of get on board with it, you know, there's going to be some type of movement. But uh, like I said, it's it's not the engine, it's not the motors. Like electric motors have been around just as maybe just as long, or if not longer, than an internal combustion engine. It's just the the battery batteries were not really developed and more than likely suppressed for years and years. Uh, the, the lithium battery, I remember it coming out for cell phones and laptops and consumer products in uh, early 90s, something like that. And since then, and that's a, like a long, long time ago now. And since then, there has been no advancements. Like there's been research, there's been this, there's been that, but there's been no real advancements. Only really now in the past couple of years have they sort of said, oh, you know, we can make a... We can make a battery that charges quicker, and we could do this, and we can do that, but it's still a crap battery. I mean, check out your new new iPhone or your, your new cell phone, your new smartphone. You still got to charge it if you use it too much right away. <laughs> and I expect, I expected a lot more, right? Like we have advancements in processors, communications, like you name it. We have rather substantial advancements right except for the battery they've always they've always said well we have better like let's just signal out the cell phones right here while i gab i could put this on i found like this playlist of gamers what is that hill? uh gamers raging <laughs> <laughs> but i'll just i'll just put it on uh mute while i gab but like you know with the batteries but like i was saying like just take a consider like a cell phone, right? Like by now, if like if the cell phone or the, the smartphone advanced as much as the batteries, we'd still have like Motorola bricks, right? We would still have maybe a flip phone or, or something like that because they just didn't bother advancing any of it, but they did advance the cell phone technology. But like, again, not the battery, right? Like every new, every new phone that I ever, I have ever gotten, I use it, and if I use it extensively, a couple hours later, I have to stick it on a charger, right? No matter how new the battery is. And I expect way more uh, from a cell phone battery. That's why I stopped kind of paying attention to new cell phones and things like that, because they're not really new, right? And as you know, like, let's single out the, the iPhone. 
the iPhone hasn't really ever changed, right? <laughs> like they'll they'll make cosmetic, they'll make them bigger, they'll make them smaller, they'll make the screen nicer, they'll, they'll give you a camera. But all those changes and all those updates are kind of like FIFA, right? They'll change the roster, but the FIFA 22, the game, is the same as the FIFA 2016, right? They haven't actually changed anything. And that's a, that's very, very common with almost every kind of consumer product, right? Where they'll just make it look nicer. A car is notorious for that, right? Anyway, what I want in a battery technology is I'll never charge it. You know, why should I ever charge a battery? It doesn't really have that much energy that I have to keep in there. I should never have to really charge it, you know? That's what a battery should be in this day and age. But it's not. And I, I feel too bad. It's too bad for that, right? Oh, yeah. You know what, Lincoln? I, I, I can't play Fortnite. I, I watched my kid play, and I tried it here and there. And eh, it's okay. I didn't... Yeah, I know. Yeah, plus we're all paying for our phones and all that. <laughs> uh, anyway, I have an issue with battery technology. It's just crap, right? And here, here's us. Uh, we're, you know, discovering the universe. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, building fusion reactors, right? And they're still giving us a 1990 battery in a 2022 uh, iPhone, <laughs> right? <laughs> And sure, there's an argument that they have improved in the you know for the you know in the past thirty years, but not not really, not really, not in my eyes. They might have made them smaller, they might have made them denser, but I'm always charging. How come, Raven? You gonna be raging like this girl? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, oh, this game. This game everybody rages on. I would never play this game. Look at this guy. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, PvP can be uh, irritating sometimes. I hear you. I'm not. I don't. I don't uh, specifically in the games that I play. I never actually look for like the um, like PvP aspect. But for instance, I, I play a lot of Dark Souls, and uh, there's a PvP aspect there. But uh, you could, on the the large part and the majority of it, you can skip it. You can skip it. Um, you could actually avoid it altogether, but. So I don't mind games like that, but a game that's strictly PvP, hmm, not so much. Don't really find all that much uh, excitement in it uh, as well. You play Minecraft, eh? That is that is amazing. That's a game I've never played. I actually never really understood it. It I, it hasn't attracted me because I haven't. Even though it's gigantic. Like that game is all over YouTube. It's just it's just the biggest game on the planet. And I think it's because it's so like it's like a freelance game. You could kind of do whatever you want, you know. You know what? I'm feeling the pull for it every once in a while. I think maybe after uh, maybe in the new year, I'll give it a try and see what see what it's about. Cuz I I even when I try to get a feel for it and watching people play it um watching videos of, of things i i'm like okay what it what are they doing here like what's the point <laughs> i just don't understand it that's really oh yeah i i know i i i know it's like there's people that are so inspired like it blows me away minecraft i'm not putting it down at all i think it's an amazing game but it, like i said it's just not for me i haven't played it and i i just don't understand it and i don't know if you know but there's a guy i don't know if it was like one dude or not but this guy, he uh, he made an entire map of England <laughs> in Minecraft. <laughs> like it was accurate and everything. It's just like wow. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, that's that's cool, Raven. Sure, yeah, that's awesome. Check it out. But if you if you stream it, I'll come and check it out, and I'll ask you stupid questions while you're playing it. <laughs> 
I mean, what are you doing now? What are you doing now? What are you doing now? They, oh, oh. This guy's freaking out. Come on, man. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, he just broke his, uh, I think he broke his, uh, oh, oh, come on, man. <laughs> ah, I'll tear your motive, eh, Raven? All right, all right. But aren't, I don't know, Lincoln, is there, are there in, uh, objectives in Minecraft? I guess, like, do you, do you level up and stuff like that? I don't know. I think you just, I always say you just find stuff and build stuff and... I really don't know. I, I, I can't talk. I am not proficient. I don't know anything about the mechanics of it, really. F uh, aside from the things that I've seen. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah, you, know, you don't get, like, a, an achievement or anything like that or a gift for doing that. Yeah, I don't think, Lincoln, there's really any, uh, I don't think there's any objectives in, in, uh, in Minecraft. I, I think that they have, there is a, there is kind of like a, like a single player campaign game or something for Minecraft as well. I'm pretty sure. Oh, we got a FIFA Rager. Oh. I see people when they rage, they just, they break like $300 keyboards and, you know, it's like, what are you doing, man? Get up, walk around, come back. <laughs> Yeah, I had a friend of mine years like I actually was exposed to raging when I was really young. Uh, a friend of mine, uh, he bought a um, his parents bought him an Intellivision. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but it was just a, a home gaming system. It was uh, I guess released. I think it was an Activision thing. It was Activision, I believe, who made the game, who made the console. And it was in response to the Atari 2600, right? And it had like slightly better graphics and it used to, it had this weird controller where it looked like kind of like a, like a cell phone, like a square cell phone with a silver disc in the middle for the left and right and it had some side buttons. And then it had like a, it had like a keypad, you know? And the keypads, it, depending on the game you play, you could put an overlay on the keypad and then that would give you like the different options for that particular game right or you can just memorize the the you know the the buttons but the overlay came with the with the cartridge so why not right anyway his name was michael and i was i always i was like a, a video arcade kid for years so before consoles um they used to have video arcades and in, in malls and i lived right by a mall I lived there, you know, and I played all the all the famous games that you could imagine that were like, you know, the big, the big huge ones that you stand up in front of. You uh, you name a game of that era, which would be the early '80s. I've played them. Okay, <laughs> I went through a lot of quarters. I'll tell you that much. And at that time, you'd get like three men per quarter, and you try to make it last as long as you can, and you also put your high score. You get to write your name for the high score. So that was kind of like the the achievement board, you know. I had my high score for a few of the games there. Anyway, eventually the Atari came out because the Pong didn't really change the world, like the Pong video game. It was the start, but um, I had a Pong too. I still got it actually. And that Pong didn't really change the world because the arcades were still going and they were still updating it. Oh, they have an adult? Yeah, yeah, we have an adult one too. Um, I don't know what they call it. They call it, it and what? You, actually, it's not too bad. Like when it first opened, it was like twenty-five dollars, and you could play there for like 
like two hours or something like that like it was like a time but they had like these really supreme video like these really supreme get-ups and um it also now like arcades in in the in the present like if you a lot of the bowling alleys um not so much malls anymore but uh you'll find an arcade now but it's basically like a little kid casino it's those they don't really have any video games per se they have all those games where you know like they'll have the the tractor getting the balls and you have to try to get one they'll have the thing that 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 pushes the change like they're all just chance games like and they'll give you tickets they have the bowling game but i i think video games in general are kind of dead when it comes to arcades and the adult ones there are like supreme like i played um they had like a video game uh where it's like a formula one race and they had an actual formula one you know chassis they didn't have the wheels but it had the and you go in there and the thing would shake you around like it was an incredible experience Right, but uh, it, it was still different because they had to buy tickets to get in. It wasn't just an arcade that you walk in. And you still always have uh, video games in pizza shops and, and convenience stores or corner stores as well, which is always kind of cool. But anyway, let me go back to what I was saying. So I, what I was trying to tell you is I had skill playing video games. And eventually I got my own ColecoVision. So sometimes, and I never rage. I, don't, I never raged even as a child. But I went to this guy's house and we played, I remember this, we were playing NHL hockey on Intellivision, right? And I was, I was beating him because I, I had, I just had skill and I also knew the, like after a while, I sort of got the dynamics of the game or the mechanics of the game and I started whipping him, right? Because he couldn't, he couldn't do this one thing, right? He just started bashing this thing and throwing it around and it was just like, wow. Hey, chicken lips. I, I was just like, wow this is like <laughs> this guy's freaking out right and it happened over and over again eventually i just stopped playing video games with him because he you know he kept on trashing the thing his mother would come down and yell at him start hitting it blah 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 he had to get it repaired twice you know i would have if i was his dad his, his parents <laughs> his dad I would have. okay too bad guy <laughs> you know <laughs> you lost it <laughs> A Jurassic Park game. I think that was uh, past my. Uh, that was my post my video game uh, arcade little kid era. I don't. I don't think I've ever seen that one. Well, Jurassic Park was now. Uh, when I was young, we had uh, Galaga, uh, Cubit, Joust, Vanguard, Donkey Kong, of course, uh, Centipede. These were all games that were uh, in uh, in uh, in the arcade at the time. Ping pong machines were kind of going, uh, were kind of leaving too. Like the ping pong machines, they eventually took them out when I was rather young to replace. Oh, and also, what was the other one? Dragon Quest. I, I cleared that game. That took me a little while because that was fifty cents to play. So you know, it took me a little while to. <laughs> It took me a little while to figure it out. <laughs> right? Oh, okay. Yeah, I've played similar games to that, but I don't I don't think I've ever played the the Jurassic Park version of it. I think mine was like Commando or something like that. They had a bunch of those miscellaneous games too in the 80s where you had a gun and you had to shoot things. Oh, they had some really nice racing games too, and it, it was the first time that uh, what was that called? Driving. It was kind of a cool game. And that was the first game that I ever experienced that had like feedback where you would, you know, like it would rumble and stuff. It was like magic to me. <laughs> it was like, this thing's amazing, <laughs> right? Well, needless to say, I spent a lot of time in the arcade, right? Anyway, when I'm watching guys rage or people rage, I shouldn't say just guys, but... When I watch people rage, I, it totally reminds me of my childhood and watching Mike rage himself and just try to, well, destroy his uh, Intellivision so many times. Crazy balls. Oh, okay, Raven. Well, we'll catch you. I'll catch you. I think um, I'm pretty sure I'm. Uh, I'm. I'm. I'll follow. I'm following you. But if if not, I'll go. I'll follow you so I know that you're up. Right. 
Wait, do you, are you mostly on the the weekend, Raven? Or do you stream mostly on the weekends, or do you do 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 uh, during the week? <laughs> yeah, chicken lips. I, uh, I remember those games. I, I really like it. The, the 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 swankiest one I played. I I mentioned earlier. I'm not sure if you were here. Was uh, a Formula One race. There was, it was Formula One racing, but they had Formula One cars that you sat in, and uh, I I played that. I don't know how many times. It was quite amazing. You could also had a clutch, and you could uh, you can do Grand Prix style and uh, shift gears and stuff like that. It, it was okay. I you know the gear aspect of it had no real feedback, but the the gas and the the brakes, uh, the steering, and also the movement because they the, it was on like you know like a hydraulic kind of thing and it would interact with you while you turn. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. It really give, it really gives you a rush. All right, uh, Raven, don't worry. We'll uh, keep uh, keep an eye out for you. Let's see what this guy's doing. Now that I'm paying attention to the streamer. You know, I'm surprised there aren't more people getting heart attacks. Oh. Don't tell me she's, she's not crying, is she? No, she's raging. Mind you, you know, she kind of wasn't really shooting good. She was like shooting at my level. man oh there you go easy goes easy goes my friend take it easy no don't do it don't just oh no oh it's all right it's all right you know you respawn it respawns oh you got he's upset oh he's still going some of these get disturbing <laughs> Chicken lips. I I was also broke, but I played them as an adult. <laughs> and at this particular place, I forgot what it was called. Like the play, play something, right? It's actually in a fairly large city here. It's about an hour away, and it's a big kind of dome, and the whole place is just packed with these really high-tech video games, you know. And they're they're like contraptions. They're not just like you get up there and you play. Like a lot of them, you get into. You know, and at that time, but this was years ago. The last time I went was like it was twenty dollars for like four hours, something like that. Like they give you a time, they give you a card, and you could play all the games you want. I think it was two hours or four hours. It was rather inexpensive. It's probably like a thousand dollars now, but you know, a few years back it was, uh, you know, it was probably worth what it should be worth. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Look at there's another guy. This guy's just going at it. What is that? His controller? Look, he just snapped his. He just broke his controller. Yeah, there goes eighty bucks. Now he can't play. Silly. Silly man. He's a big streamer, that that last guy. I, I, I just don't find his raging genuine. I think he does it for ratings. I don't think this guy's going to be too happy. <laughs> We've all felt this though, right guys? We've all felt it. Yeah, it was a type of a gaming room, uh, gaming room type ordeal. It was, yeah. I went when it was fairly new. Uh, it didn't. Um, actually, I, I, they probably got VR now. They actually have a VR room, like a VR place, in my city here, and it, I just never, 
bother trying. Like, you know, I was going to go actually with my, my son one time, but he said, ah, screw it. It's not that big of a deal. But a friend of mine went, he said it was pretty, it was pretty amazing, you know. So again, I think you probably pay like some type of fee and you could play a game for a couple, for an hour or something like that. Uh, but it was like a, its own thing. It wasn't, it wasn't like a corporation. I think someone just put together like a VR, a couple of VR setups in a, in a nice, uh, in a nice uh, kind of unit, you know, and they let people, let people try, uh, try some VR. I still haven't tried it. You guys try any VR yet? Honestly, I, I just don't think that it's the software is there yet. And like the hardware is not there yet, you know, but VR would be kind of cool, right? I mean, the only game that I really seen that I thought was, was any good was that Half-Life uh, game. All the other ones were kind of like, okay, right? You imagine? You, you, know, you, you end up with a ring around your head. Yeah. And also, too, like the VR headset, it looks hot. Like. Yeah, I'm sure you would get motion sickness. Yeah. But I, I can't imagine being able to play it for very long because I, I don't know. I don't think there's any ventilation in those things, especially in these kind of new type of hardware, right? Uh, the FIFA. I always, when I see people play FIFA, it's always, it always disturbs me because I think that there's sort of a kind of like extremism when it comes to people playing FIFA. And it kind of stems from the fact that there's a lot of sort of, you know, uh, r radical football fans. Right? And I think those football fans play FIFA. <laughs> and I think there's a lot of raging when it comes to that game. And every time I see... I don't know. There's something about FIFA that is just... I don't know. It, it just disturbs me. So I have to, like, avoid it at all costs. Oh, we're... <laughs> Too much for the senses, right? You know? Again, you know, I, I always look to the future of, uh, of that kind of thing. I, I don't think you should have to wear anything, right? I mean, you could use a hologram. Uh, you know, I, I was thinking maybe the next rendition would be something of uh, the helmet. Like the next one that we'll probably have it would be the, you know, the, the controllers, which I wish you didn't have to use. You should just be able to pick up where you want. You know, you shouldn't you have to hold anything in your hand. That's why I'm saying, like, the hardware is nice, but to me, it's it's a little archaic. Like, they put, basically, they strap a cell phone to your head, headphones, and controllers in both hands, right? And you're hooked up with wires, so you can't move. So it's like, you know... It, uh, you know, it's like the 1840s for VR, <laughs> and I'm—I know—I'm not really into pioneering that kind of crap, right? Yeah, the, the the future, and also I think the next rendition will probably be like some type of bodysuit, and you'll get like a little electric charge when you get shot. That would be kind of cool. Yeah, I, I like the 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 idea of VR is really cool because of the enclosure, you know. And, um, oh, the Oculus Rift. It's portable? Oh, okay, it's like you, you charge it? Yeah, the Oculus is, is, is a charge thing, eh? Anyway, like, you see, I'm a little bit ignorant towards uh, VR stuff. I, you know, I, I, I've done that. <laughs> yeah. I, w I was the same way when, um, like, the, the cell phone technology was emerging, right? And when I was, um, w you know, the cell phone started becoming affordable. I also worked in, in technology when the cell phone started to come alive. And at that time, they had an iPhone that you can buy. 
an iPod for music, and and also like a a PID for scheduling. So, and sometimes a beeper. This is like right at the beginning, right? So, the as a consumer, we were told that these are the the technologies that you should you should purchase. But it didn't make any sense to me. Like, why would I? Why should I have something like three things? <laughs> right? It should be merged. Right? All that stuff should be just merged. Right? And then eventually, in a short, actually rather short period of time, maybe several years, they merged. Um, yeah, like they merged the the PDA, the personal kind of device with your scheduling and all that. They did merge that with a cell phone. That was kind of BlackBerry. They started doing that. And also uh, email and all that kind of thing. But music was always separate. And then eventually they just merged everything into a smartphone. They call it a smartphone now. But the, the initial introduction of all these technologies were all separate. And people would be carrying around these things on their belt. I just thought it was ridiculous. So that is what VR is to me. Like VR eventually is going to be great. Everyone's probably going to have one. <laughs> but right now, uh, I think it's it's I think it's it's going to be a, a, a number of years, that's for sure. Like I don't know exactly what they have coming down the pipe for it either because uh they uh, I'll tell you another thing. Like when I was in the technology field, like when it came to cell phones, like I was in the network aspect of cellular systems. So I used to work in networking, but the marketing guys or the, what do you call those guys? Product managers, the product managers, they had, you know, items for sale that would come eventually, they would come eventually to the consumers. But we were like five years ahead. So we had a, a phone that a company or a consumer wouldn't see for five years because and the technology also was like a five-year out technology as well but it was working right but we couldn't release it because consumers would get confused and they won't know what to buy or it would cause <clears throat> you know it would it would just cause confusion let's say other social consequences as well and economical clearly but um i believe that the vr and all that like there are things that are probably going to be coming that are really good but they just can't continually expose people to new ideas they do and they say that it's just in the works but you know like i said the technology company that i work for we were five years out for consumer products which was uh, i think it's probably still played out the same what's this guy doing here I kind of keep it off because the screaming is just a little bit too much I just like to see the reaction on their faces <laughs> I would like uh, gaming with uh, no peripherals. That would be interesting. You know, maybe eventually that's what it, it should be. You know, there was a, an example of an interesting game. It was like a kind of like a, a slightly cheesy movie. What was the movie called? Uh, it was with Hakim. Oh, uh, and the voice of. Uh, Scarlett Johansson. It was uh, her. He was playing a video game. And I'm like, yeah, that's the future of gaming right there. I thought to myself. Because I've always envisioned it. And I thought to myself, someday that's going to be it. Right? Have you guys seen that movie? It was like... He would turn on the game. Right? And in his living room... He would have the scene kind of like right in front of him and he would have the character in front of him and it was just an exploration game and as he had to move he was just he was just kind of like you know he was just using his hands to to move through the level and, and, and pan it and stuff like that i'm like yeah that's what it should be eventually right 
because I, I think um, when it comes to technology, I think eventually screens should should take a dump as well. Like I don't think that um, like the the pixel idea, you know, having LED pixels to produce a picture on a panel is really new. I mean, that's what tube televisions did, right? So the LED stuff and OLED and all that kind of crap, it's all a variation of an old-fashioned technology, right? Except that they've improved it and made it better, which is amazing. Don't get me wrong. I'm not putting it down or anything. However, why the screen? Like, why do you need any of that? You can use some type of projector, right, <clears throat> to, to do it. And you can make light travel fast enough. So I was kind of thinking of putting, like, it would be like some type of square or puck or something. You know, you put it on, on the ground. It would be battery, so you shouldn't have to charge it ever, right? Put it on your table, turn on, and, it, you know, you should get a display, right? And I was thinking of something like you could project, you could project like some type of background, right? Like some type of white or black or whatever you need as, as a background. So project that and then project the image on that, right? Like, so sort of like a double layer of light. Cause in a way that's what we're kind of doing anyway. So why, you know, you could sort of throw away the hardware aspect of it and use emitters of some type. That's what eventually I think, uh, at least I'm trying, I'm hoping that someday that's what it will be, right? I guess another thing too, since I'm kind of thinking about it, would be why, like in, 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 when it comes to like data, right? Internet and stuff like that. Like right now, we pay internet for home, or, or most of us, let's say, right? Because in Canada, for instance, in Canada, for instance, people, most people, which is unbelievable, like a household of four, let's say, they'll have one, one internet connection for their home, which is to say $100 a month or whatever. And then they would all have four cell phones with data that they all pay $100 for. More than likely from the same company, right? why you know like what's what's the point of that like that doesn't make any sense there should be like one bill for communication and that covers your communication need for your life right so why having why do i have all these separate accounts for ultimately the same the access to the same thing right that's harder to explain but it should all just be one bill Right, as opposed to seven bills, we do some something similar with um, Spotify, for instance. Spotify had or has—I'm not sure if they still have it. They have like a family plan, right? And what you can do is you can you pay fifteen dollars a month Canadian, right? That's with tax and all. That's around fifteen dollars a month, uh, maybe eighteen. But it's 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 well under twenty dollars a month for me and you could put seven people on that account all right it's a similar thing when it comes to uh, internet service providers you should have one family will pay a hundred dollars for internet access and that access should be covered for no matter where you are all right like it doesn't make sense all right <laughs> I don't know. I'm pretty tough on. I'm pretty tough on technology and the status quo on how things are. I, I just never really think that there's any change, right? And you know, companies and and all that they don't learn, right? Like a perfect example of that is everybody knows about Cyberpunk 2077, right? Uh, Project CD-RED. 
don't release an unfinished product. You're going to get hurt by it. Your fans are going to abandon you. And most importantly for them is your profit share is going to go down, right? Your profit and all that kind of stuff. Did the industry learn anything? No. <laughs> they did it. They just did the same thing. Like Battle, Battlefield 2042, identical. A terrible release. They released something that's unfinished. Why would you do that? And then they'll come out with, oh, you know, we didn't, we didn't see it. Like nobody believes that. And also Rockstar, they, they put out a piece of junk, right? <laughs> Where embarrassingly enough, modders have been doing a heck of a lot better work or job than Rockstar themselves with those games. And then when they released the, the trilogy, they put all those, they, they brought all those people to court, right? All the hackers. I think, I think the hackers are fighting back. But Rockstar has so much money that they can just keep on going until they run out of money. <laughs> Unless they lose, right? So that's pretty pathetic. And again, the company themselves, they didn't learn anything, did they? They didn't say, oh, CD Projekt Red, they really blotched it. Maybe we shouldn't do that. All right. And not all companies do that. Not all companies do that. Oh. And I think for the video game uh, awards ceremony, I have a feeling, I think that CD Projekt Red got nominated for best RBG of the year. <laughs> That's great, eh? That's like saying, okay, uh, where's the worst student in class? Give him the valedictorian. <laughs> right? Like, the industry is weird. Like, wouldn't you think that after that display of incompetence, that the industry would somehow punish them by not acknowledging them in a, an award ceremony? But they don't. So... Unbelievable, right? I mean, I doubt if they're going to win. If they win, then definitely, definitely, there was something, something going on there, right? So, you American folk, how the how's your your Thanksgiving take? When are you guys doing Thanksgiving? Is it today? No, what's today? Is is, is today Black Friday for you guys? So you're gonna have some um, some shopping massacres down there. I know in Canada they a few years back they started putting out like Black Friday signs but it was all just it was all just a name you know just to get people to a store this was just recently just just before the covid maybe a couple years before the covid maybe maybe longer I have like a hard time with uh, time so the Canadian stores started adopting the wordage Black Friday and uh, not really any sales. There, there wasn't never anything crazy. They just were getting people to the store and using that name. And you know, clearly, it must have worked. It must have boosted something because they still use it, right? This is actually kind of a cool game. Oh yeah. I wonder if there's anybody that I could, uh, I can raid. Let's see what we got here. Hmm. Well, we got Ravitex playing Dead by Daylight, guys. So, 
we're gonna I'm gonna call this uh, a stream. I'm actually here a little bit too long. Uh, happens. I was probably gabbing too much about stuff. But hey, guys, thanks for coming. Have a great weekend, and uh, catch me. And we'll play. Uh, catch me on Monday, and we'll play um, Dark Souls Three. I'm at the uh, first DLC boss fight. It should be really good, really, really good. So see you guys then. Thanks for coming, guys. Take care. Bye.